Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Heartbroken on the ZX Spectrum. <clears throat> it's a game by the Shaw Brothers. Um, most notably, actually, I remember the Shaw Brothers. Actually, I haven't, uh, some people don't like it, but I, I really liked it. They did um, Super Kid. It was one of my faves. So um, this is them back with an adventure. Um, the princess of the land has been stolen. She's been held to ransom for the whole land. Um, you've been uh, gifted the ability to fire fireballs which is very useful um, but you need to create a key to save the princess and that's what you meant to do um, but funnily enough I was reading the uh, manual there and it says uh, you know have you, can, what's it um, can you live long enough to create the po the, the key to need to re re um, free princess Martha 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 maybe Martha probably not in the unlikely event that you rescue the princess the game will restart and the objects are in a different location so um, that's the unlikely event. That's actually written in the manual there, or than the inlay. I'll put that on the screen now, though, because um, we would like to see that one. It's got a rather nice picture of a sort of, um, I would say, werewolf ogre type creature there. Anyway, I rather like this one actually. Uh, they, they, these guys have a, a tendency to create games with which I think are fast, and I think they're also quite fun. They're tough, but they're quite fun. So um, we'll start the game. I've had to load it on the 48k version, so if there is actually any music, I do apologise. We don't, didn't seem to be any from where I do it. I rather like that though. Look, and look at that though. Uh, uh, cheeky little monkeys. Look, ACG. R.I.P. That's the people who were rare. Um, what did that stand for? Ashby Computer Games? They were the ones who made um, Jetpack and a few other games. So, so yeah, the Jetpack, Attic Attack, lots and lots of games. Psst, Trans Am. So, little cheeky thing there. They're, they're dead as well. So, um, this is 1989, this game. Um, we've got to avoid this guy. We can't jump, it seems, um, which is a bit of a shame, but we can climb things. Um, BB. So... There's a bits there. Let's go get this. That's bonus points, this one. We can't get past this. Oh, can we? Oh, we can. Let's... Oh, oh, ogre. Wasn't there before. They take multiple hits to kill these things. Alright, there's another ogre. I think there's something secret at the top. I can't remember exactly what it is. Oh, he's, he's one of them. He's excited to see me. I'll have to get right up and shoot him first. There we go, got him. Right, up we go. And as I say, it plays really well. It's really good. It looks nice as well. So I found a spell book. Now I've got to find a cauldron, apparently, to do that. You can fall, it seems, not unlimited distances, but you can fall fairway without hurting yourself. So you're okay to sort of drop off things. It saves walking up and down. I like that. Kind of cool. Nice use of colours. Yep, up we go. Some coffins. I wonder what's at the other side. Actually, you know, I went one way earlier. There's another. There's another. Cal there's a cauldron for bonus points. I went one way earlier. I'm now wondering whether I should go the other way. Extra points. No, I can't go up. They, they go nowhere because they see the blue walls. That that you can't walk through them. Look. So it goes no way that way, so it's a kind of a... That's not the way to go. I'm just going to go down the bottom here, because I'm tempted to find out... Just waiting for the ogre to come back again. I'm just tempted to find out what's over this way, because I, I didn't go continue going on. I actually went up last time round. Oh. Right. The one hiding in the trees. There's an ogre spawned there out of nowhere. Oh no! That's a dreaded druid -y creature that they just kill you almost instantaneously, which is a bit horrible. Some of them you can't work through and some of you can. Here's the castle. There's the guards. I haven't got the key. I need to get the key to get into the castle to get to the princess. So I need... Uh, there must be more to the first place that I went past earlier. Right, okay, we're past the guard. Ah! I hate that when they do that. They kind of plunge down on you occasionally. Oh, this gravestone has no grass underneath it. Interesting. Right, so this is where we're kind of at this building, which we went past earlier. So we have to climb up here. We're going to get some bonus points. A bonus. It's a shame we don't get more lives. That would be more useful. 
Right, so we're going to have to climb up looking at the way that, that goes because there's blue everywhere around about. Right, drop off here. Quick up the ladder. I think I could, would quite like a jump. Let's see what's in the other room. There's an ogre in there. Oh, no! God, that thing's horrible when it turns up. You just have to not be in line with it. The time That ogre's running at me. Let's see what's at the other side of the room. Okay. So a big skull with sort of glowy eyes. He blocks doors. If I touch him, he'll hurt me. Oh, no! I got killed. We're going to have to another try at that, because that's quite good, that. Player rating. Pauper. Oh, dear. Did badly. Adventure 1. I guess you must have Adventure 2 if you finish it. So, right, okay. So, on we go. Yeah, I'm going to leave the room, because you're, you're going to mess around, aren't you? Ah, go away. Right. So we're going to go up here. There's a spell book up further up the top, so it seems that they're they're kind of set. So we'll go up here, and then this we'll shoot this uh, ogre. There we go, got him. And go get the spell book that's up here. What I quite like is when a game builds into it. You know that you you get away with the the sections, and they're not too, and they're not too bad. They don't they don't you know it doesn't kill you sort of straight away. It gives you a l few screens to kind of get into the into the groove of the thing. You know, get get going with the game. That was the thing with a lot of games in the spectrum. You know, you didn't have a, a level of building up to something. You were kind of, you know, assaulted straight away. So right, we're going to there. I've got that status thing there. So we need the key for the castle to get into the princess. Oh damn. Should have, should have shot him before I went. Before I go down. So you go past. Go on then, troll. Bye bye, troll. They seem to rush at you if they get at a certain point. So oh, that's ah, fine. You stay up there. All right. So sometimes they just whiz at you at full full tilt. Ah! Damn it! You can't duck it either. Uh, change, change the spawn of the enemy there. Them horrible druidy things, they're nasty. Right, okay, so this is where we got to before. See, he's sped up his pace coming at me here. Can't kill those things, so they, they kind of block the way, so they're basically doors. Those the guys, they're just doors. Right, got that one. Let's go up this way. Ah, portion. I can climb up to that portion. It seems there. Let's go up to the potion. No. Yes. Oh. Found a glass of elixir. All right. I'm feeling. I'm feeling confident now. We've found a few things. I like the way that they said I'm never going to finish this. I'm going to prove you wrong right now. I'm going to finish it in a wanna. <laughs> Don't think so. <laughs> Don't think so. It's one of these games where if you come out, go in and out of a room, it respawns the enemies. Sometimes going slightly different directions, which is handy. Uh, right. So I can't go through him. I'm sure I can't. Yeah. So that must be the big wizard. I wonder if I can shoot him from here. No. Okay, so I can't get past him. So I've got an elixir. Let's see what we can do with the elixir. There isn't any other buttons... Um, there's just one for a spell, which is the shoot, and then there's the up, down, left, right. Um, so... Go away. Right, okay, so we got him. So there's the other side of this area that we're in here. We must have to walk through that to find out what's going on. Oh, no! I'm gutted! There's whiz in there. Surf, we've got a better rating, we're getting there. I'm having another go. One more go and then we're going to call it a day. It's quite a good game, this one. Well, in fact, not, not quite a good game. It is a good game, I'm enjoying it. I still think that's quite cheeky. <laughs> I like the guy coming in out of the... the, the oh, I whizzed through there. Voided him. Right, get all these bits here. 
I'm sure we'll need this spell that's up here, so we're going to go get that again. Yep. I like the use of colours as well. I think it's really important that, you know, it doesn't matter. We don't, we don't care. I don't care about the colour clash. I just want to see, I want to see games that look nice and play nice. And the colour clash we live with because we know how the, the spectrum was designed with text in mind, and that the eight by eight squares is the way that it was it was meant to be. It was never meant to be a games machine, or certainly that's what not Sir Clive didn't want it to be a games machine, even if it did end up being one. Um, I don't want to go that way. I want to go back this way. Sorry, because <clears throat> I want to get that elixir, and then we're going to ignore all that. Is it that way? No. Next level up. Damn. So, jump off here. Up to this one. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Run through here. Right, down we go. Up we go. Just ignoring them. <clears throat> It was kind of the nature of the beast that you had top scores and high scores where you didn't really need them. You know, the, 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 you had some games, so they didn't really need it. Could have gone with percentage, I guess, on this one. Which is a fair comment, I think. Right, so we go go through this room up there and get the elixir. So I've got a spell book, elixir, and I'm guessing I've got to get some other bits and pieces to make my the necessary thing. There we go. Ooh, see? Ah, you! Oh, you nasty, nasty, nasty creature! That co cost me badly. Right, down we go. That was got caught by one of them earlier as well. I wasn't happy about that either. Right, so we've gone this way, gone that way. Yeah, you can stay there. Just behave yourself over there, you little gargoyle thing. See, there's a there's a there's a creature there, which I've run into before. I mean, look at the graphics on that; it's cool, isn't it? I mean, they're, they're full on. They've got the eyes in there, and they've got the horns in red, and the feet in green. I've gone past him before. I've got to him before, and I've ran into him, and I've, I've died. Um, <coughs> that'll teach you. Go away. Uh, down here. There's another bonus, but that's it. Right, okay, now I'm a bit stuck because um, because I've got all these bits and pieces, but can I get past? I need to find, I don't know what a cauldron looks like. That's the only thing. I've not spotted a cauld cauldron. Oh, you horrible, horrible man. Go away. Leave me alone! <coughs> Oh no! Oh, I don't know where the cauldron is. Right, I'm not going to play again anyway. But uh, yeah, no, that's quite good. I like, I like, quite like Heartbroken. Well, I say I'm not going to play again. Probably going to play again off camera. But uh, no, I quite enjoyed that one. That's quite a good one. That's a budget game. Um, um, the one thing that's also quite amusing is um, is that uh, oh, it's not on this one. Oh, no, it's not that one. I was going to say it was the price was different on the front cover, but it isn't. It's not that particular one. Anyway, um, yeah. So heartbroken from the Shaw Brothers. Really quite a good game. I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye now.